All right, we got a lot of story in the last several videos. Thank you so much for joining me each day. This game, I think, has been just top-notch. For, like, what is this going to be, like, the only Sony game for this year besides maybe God of War? Gr Gran Turismo might be the other one. I don't know. That, that pretty sure that's exclusive. Um, other than that, I can't think of anything else that would come out. I think I'm most excited about the next Spider-Man game. Spider-Man 2 and the Wolverine game? Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding? They're good. Th those games will be phenomenal, 100%. The day I'm playing Wolverine on my channel is a good day, all right? That's all I'm saying. All right, love you all. Best audience ever. All the likes, greatly appreciated. Now, let's get it. All right, so I had no idea what to do here, right? I think the numbers are kind of like on... Well, I have no idea what it is. I wound up looking on the internet. found that it's 237, so you... They said there's 236... But you got to account for the missing one, which is one above that. But I don't know. I, I looked all over this room without recording. I was just like, it's got to be like a note or something. But uh, that's what the, apparently the code is for that for everybody. Somebody said it could be a Shining reference as well. Because it's like the number of the room as well that they went into. Here we go. 236 containers in storage. Please... Aloy. It's you. Skin's like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? We need to get her back to- Oh shit, they can fly. Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Erend? Two of those spectre things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. I should prepare, prepare for battle. Oh, no. I can't let it get through to Varl on the clone. I knew it was too good to be true as far as just being in the area with nothing crazy happening, but... Here it comes. Currently quit. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Ooh, ugly one, are you? Yo, this is gonna be a tough fight. I already know it is. Ah! 
wonder what the weakness is here. Ooh, I should scan that thing. See if it has any weak spots. Yeah, kind of hard to do that when we're all Things over the place. Oh. Can't tell if we're doing any damage to it. It doesn't seem like it's not... Let me just back up. Leave me alone, please. Yo, this is crazy. Hey, weak point or not, I'm just gonna keep doing this. I got a rhythm right now. I'm chilling. Uh, make one of these because why not? That does so much damage. Oh, that's some fours. Now, I forgot I get more of everything. Who's bring a damage here? Don't mind if I do. Yo, it's so sick. Oh, wait. Uh, so, oh, one thing I wanted to show you. So, I've been calling everything different. It's acid. Purge, water, shock, plasma... Acid adhesive. Uh, explosive. Yeah, I gotta get used to like, every game has all these different elements. And this one has way more than just like two or three like most games. All right. We're gonna build this up. Oh my God. What in the world? There we go. Two thirty-five. Let's go. Honestly, I might just take everything here. Okay, unlike a lot of other games, what I've noticed about the combat in this is you can't really uh, perfect dodge a lot of stuff. You either get it or you don't. You know, like some games that can be next to you, like a Dark Souls type game, and then you just kind of like dash right with the swing. You don't really understand how it happened, but it just does. This game, I don't feel like it has that. So I have to like, if I don't want to get hit, I just stay away. Spider isn't that bad right now. Obviously, I'm. I say that as I'm about to die, probably. Uh, let's go ahead and use this. This to kind of confirm that I kill this thing. There. Out of ammo. Let's get this back up. I think it gives me seven's a little awkward. I'm just gonna go in. Commit! There we go, nice. There. Go ahead and search this. Are you okay, Aloy? Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. Uh, we good? Exit the facility. All right, nice. All right, after we get out of here, I'll probably wind up, uh, take a little break, get some food or something. Gotta get back up top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. I have a bad habit of playing this game very long periods of time at once. I have the codes in there. That would be hilarious. 
certain games I'll play for like an hour and I'm like, alright, I'll take a break here, but then... Man, this one just, it's like I just can't put it down. I don't know what it is. I just like the grand scale. I want to get some better gear. There's a little bit of grind there. I like that. Errant. And the Spectre's dug its seals in. It's got me pinned down. Hang tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry. Help is on the way, buddy. All right, we're getting out of here. I gotta get to Errand. That's a cool boss fight. Wasn't overly difficult either. Aaron, Ooh, it's bright out here. here. Watch out. That thing shoots down the center. Down my bones. Stay put. You see what I can do. What in the world? The second you need me, I'm there. Same I'm thing as boss? Spot. I might be able to sneak up on it if I stay out of its line of fire. I'm gonna go back over here. Tough fight if I take that thing head on. Gather what's in the direction I need to go. A heavy weapon. I could use it against the specter. Ooh, this is gonna be nice. Should I get like like a stealth attack maybe on it? Shields down. It's on the move. Solid strike. A little bit of damage. I'm gonna go back here and get this still. There's not enough time to use that thing. Hey, boys, get out of there. Yeah. A little bit more. There we go. Look at that thing fishing away. Oh my god. Try not to. Oh, you know what this enemy reminds me of? It just dawned on me. The thing's in Edge of Tomorrow. The Tom Cruise or whatever. You okay? The thing that like initially killed him in the beginning of the movie. Like, that's not a spoiler. It's just like the, the movie's him living the same day over and over. Great movie if you haven't seen it. The way it's spinning around though, it definitely seems like that. Oh my goodness. I'm glad I loot a lot of stuff because I'm able to craft like a lot. Get that stuff on you. I could activate my Valor thing, but I'm gonna wait. I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. Maybe the Zenas won't be so invincible after all. Hey, let's go.
All right, examine the weapon. Wait, can I actually pick this up? Uh, okay. All right, examine the weapons over here. I thought it was the one on the back of that. All right, so I gotta admit... Oh, well, this is one of those ones I can't get. It's just, like, stuck in there. Um, the boss fights so far in this game have been way better than the first game. In my personal opinion. No. to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zeniths. I should check on the clone too. Burl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. It's where it kind of just brought me back here. I didn't actually do anything. We gotta talk to everyone anyways. Here we go. We'll talk to her first and then uh, to them. Welcome back. Aloy, I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah, I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment, I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us? Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenus got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better check on the clone before I head back out there. Yes. She retreated to the maintenance corridor directly below us. Varl is with her. Right. Thanks, Guy. I'm a, I'm assuming that talking to them is a more direct conversation this time, other than it expanding. Let's see, because it's more of a main thing. Let's see here. Aloy, glad you made it back. Okay. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh... It's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It 
It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet. And now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you're... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Gaia and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they butchered the tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia Colonel, they'll have a hard time doing that. The Zeniths needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you. Trained you. And you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but the only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well... Surprise. So we're dealing with the same far zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah. I know. You mentioned the Zenith set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine wars, it, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities, so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. 
plus infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space, other survivors of the colony. You said the Zenith's colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. Guess they survived old age, too. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Aluthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. Kind of just going through each one. It's not every day you get to talk to your clone, am I right? You know what I'm saying? You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed, outside the facility. But Bane is dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Luthia faster if I had it with me, and they believed me. Well done. I got they both got the exact same, like, red marks on their face. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, the avatars of the archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names. They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database before Ted Farrow purged it. The Zeniths have a copy. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge... just out of reach... must have been frustrating. Alright, I think that's enough for now. Do you... Want to come upstairs, or...? So how long? You know, your, your your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zeniths? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaius is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Gaius is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zeniths really are. You were supposed to be further along by now. Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything, everyone, they're gonna die. Hey, calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. 
Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. So I guess we won't be making use of Cylon's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more sub-functions to get. All right. Three skill points. Go ahead and use these really quick, and then I'm going to take a little breather. You know, the funny thing is, I said I'd take a break. It felt like an hour ago. <laughs> There's just so much dialogue. All right. Let's see what we got here. Um, all right. What did I want to do first? I feel like the healing... Ah, this thing in the middle right here, the overshield, I think is really, really awesome. Um... Uh, but I have to unlock everything else around it. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I here's what's here's what's weird. I can spend the three points and get three individual things on stuff like this. Uh, skilled south. Yeah, let's see what it says. Elemental fury. That could be useful. Trap limit. Okay, more more traps at one time. Food duration. This always reminds me of like the Monster Hunter stuff where you eat before you go on a mission, you know what I mean? Uh, Resilient Trapper. This seems like such a waste. Your own trap or tripwire. Uh, I mean, it's like an accident, I guess, but... Yeah, I don't know what to do. I, I think what I wind up going, going on right now is... Uh, Half Moon Slash... All right, I'm just gonna stick to my path. I wanted to go right here. Got those two, and then I'll spend this one on uh, this one right here. There we go. Rather than save everything. All right, that is a good stopping point. Um, thank you guys so much for all the support on this series so far. It really means a lot to me. I think that this has been one of the better games I've played in recent memory. I think this and Dying Light 2. Oh, is there more stuff in here? There's more stuff. No shot. There's some upgrading for the next video. It says we got a lot of unused weapon outfits, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, had a lot of fun with this game so far. I think it's definitely got a lot to it. The next main mission. Let me see where we're at right now. Okay, so it's going. Now we're going. All the oh, all the Poseidon thing looks sick. Lost. Uh, let's see. Las Vegas. No shot. That's going to be sick. This is on the map. Where's that going? Down here. Okay. That was where the other long... Or not long neck. Tall neck is. We got one right here. I wonder if I could actually do this. Like, the other one was actually locked. Uh, I'm assuming I get, like, an ability or whatever down the road. I'm not sure. But, uh, anyways, that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I will catch you in the next video. Um, if you want more of this game, quickly just keep it from the like button. That's the best way to let me know you want more. And I uh, love you guys. Gaia, I'm going to sleep. What's this room? Peace. This would have been an access point for advanced training.